Art's always been a part of our universe, but it's been a little bit more of the wallpaper than it is sort of the driving force. But it's very special wallpaper because the art that we've always used here, and we have a long history specifically tied to our vintage reserve wines of using art to showcase the beauty within the bottle. driving up the road headed towards the truck, talking to Toll, the vineyard manager, and my nephew on the phone, when out of my mouth uttered the words, what the <laughs> is that there? And he goes, what happened, Uncle Jim? Did you drive off the road? And I went, no, you wouldn't believe it. Uncle Barney's van is parked at the head of the lane. And so I came up to the house and asked the kids what in the world that old van was doing there. And they said, Dad, it's a piece of art. We're going to make it a treasure again. <laughs> Oh, well, it's funny that to beautify the property, um, they have towed out from uh, a place down along Huchica Creek, a uh, old van that I always thought was a piece of junk that looked like a dinosaur, but lo and behold, it seems to have artistic uh, value in their eyes. They think it's real authentic, which it definitely is. It's just like we were uh, swimming, scuba diving, and you came upon a like a boat underwater and you look in and you expect to find a treasure and all you find is a bunch of crap. That's that's about what that is. <laughs> we pulled it up here, got it in place, now we've got tires on it. Uh, Nate's going to be in tomorrow, or tonight actually, take a look at it. And then tomorrow he's going to start painting on it and make this thing beautiful again. To me it didn't um, fit in aesthetically to what it is that we want to reflect on Rhine Farm, but they assured me that it's going to be hip when they finish with it, and so I cannot wait. <laughs> one of the necessities of owning an old sixth generation winery is one needs to be ready to change and adapt, and so I'm ready to try that. Well, we uh, are lucky that here at Gumlock Bunch we have a lot of creative people um, who think outside the box including some f relatives that were here long before me and one of those relatives had some notion uh, about this winery truck that I'm sure were grand in his own head but had really only yielded it as far as the creek uh, on the far end of the property so as a kid I'd grown up and it had really just become kind of a weed collector for two or three generations. I was thinking man I would love to get back there and work on that truck and just do something on the side I don't know just leave a mark on it and uh, I saw that there's this moat of blackberry and there's just no way, no way it was gonna happen. So I forgot about it. Bottom line is he's kind of become the de facto artist in residence. And so as soon as we, we have anything in my mind that is interesting, but kind of needs vetting from a really guy who thinks about the world in terms of visual and aesthetic and how it feels and looks. Um, I always like to call Nate and at least have him give me his two cents. And we haven't really, uh, you know, he did such a good job on our stage where we do our music festival. He'd done great with our posters. So when the truck came up, it seemed like, okay, I think this can work, but I'd really like to get Nate's take on it. And then, of course, it turned out he'd seen the truck. He was already knew what it was. He was excited about it. And then, and then when we saw what he could actually do with the side of it, it was, it was a no-brainer. Beautiful thing. Let me. I haven't seen. It. I got. I got tires on it. I'm feeling good. I was. I woke up this morning a little bit stressed out, but now I feel like I'm on task. And uh, you know, the idea of minimizing, I think, is like. I think it's gonna put a lot more punch on here.
poem itself just speaks to me uh, so immediately. And it speaks to our history, given that we had an entire business burned down almost you know, a century ago. Um, and I, I actually think it's kind of the, the right way to live. Did anybody think to uh, clean this out before we welded it shut? <laughs> I didn't think they could make a uh, silk's purse out of a pig's ear. That's an old saying. <laughs> and they did. They turned something that to me was a piece of old junk. It just is nice that antiquity still has its place here. I'm so happy with it. I, I mean, I continue to be surprised by it as I drive up. Um, and I think that's a good sign because it is so different than anything you'd see driving into any normal winery. I love how dramatically different it is um, than what you might expect. We've been collecting things around this place whether we want to or not for 150 years and the idea of taking something that historically had been sort of a cast aside and turning into a centerpiece hits a little close to home as like, ooh, geez, should we be doing something new and shiny? Um, even though that might not sound like a Gumlock Bunchu thing, it, it always does strike me, should we be doing that? But to see it down there, I'm getting the reaction out of myself that I would want, which I never get sick of looking at it. We already have so many old artifacts around the winery that I thought that this would just be one more piece of old machinery, but instead it was now fits right in with modern culture, thanks to Nadia's artwork, basically. And I was wrong again, Jeff. It doesn't even hurt me to say that anymore. <laughs>